Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Now tonight's pour is going to be a car themed one. I'm on a trend here. Yes, indeed. Um, as you know, maybe if you watched my last video, I had a very successful four day festival and I sold half of my car paintings that I had. I think I had 34. Yeah, I had 34 and I had left with 17. So I had a uh, sold quite a few during that festival and I feel like I'm low on car paintings. So for my next festival coming up in a couple weeks from this Saturday, so about a little over two weeks, um, I'm trying to get one, one done every day for a while. And, but I also need to get some more Pink Floyd ones done as well. So I probably won't have as many car ones, but I do want some more Pink Floyd ones. I think I've already got at least two people that want them right away, maybe a third. So I got to get those done as well. But tonight we're going to do a car painting one. And I have picked this 55 Chevy. Now, as you can see, it's just a dark blue, with some black and a little bit of silver on there. We're not going to use silver tonight, but we are going to do white background and a couple of blues now the blue i picked out as um i picked out a metallic blue and then i got this one uh the other day and it's a pearlized dark blue but when i mixed it 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 looks almost grayish as you can see i don't know if you can see in there but it kind of looks kind of more gray than anything but it's got a little bit of blue tint to it so that was the only one I was going to use since it was so dark and I thought, well, we'll use the, the other metallic blue, but this does have some black in it, some darker. So we're going to see how it goes and also mixing with some white. We'll see if it comes out all right. So I've already got all my paints mixed and I'm going to be using Artist Loft White, which is right here, Artist Loft White. And then I already showed you the two blues we're gonna use and those are the only three colors that we're gonna be using tonight. So I've already got the white paint down on the canvas. So all I gotta do is adjust the camera and we can get going. All right, as you can see, we've already got the white down. So here we go. Let's see how blue this really, see how grayish that looks. It does have a blue tint to it. I want to say use almost all of it on this on the bottom. Then I want some more of this blue in here. I used almost all of that. Hopefully I'll have a little bit in case I need some. We'll get our white in there. Get my hair dryer. Ooh. All right, we work on good. Good enough to save some, save a good thing, a block of blue there. Just a little bit of white there. Not much.
car there. That blue matches up a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit lighter. That matches up pretty good. Let's see if I can get some blue in here. Now the reason I'm torching it more than usual is I'm trying to get this white to kind of lace, which it, there's a lot of it right in here, here, oh, a lot there. It's a lot of white specks here, but a lot of lacing there. So that's why I torched it a little bit more than normal. But I think I'm going to leave it like that. I don't like this blue right there, but... Let me get that a little covered up. Let's see if I can get a paper towel here. Kind of want to drag this blue. think that's all I'm going to mess with it. So, but this dark but pearlized blue is, in my opinion, is just gray. Uh, but I'll work with it because there is some dark black in the car. So that can kind of match up with that. But I'll pr probably put the car in an angle like this. See, it's kind of coming through like this. And so I think that's all I'm going to do to it. All right, as you can see, this one has dried. We have the car right here. I think what we're going to do is put it 
like right in there like that at an angle as you can see it's kind of going that way this is a 10 by 20 canvas i've got the back taped i've already put on here it's a 55 chevy have my signature on there and uh we're using pro marine resin seven ounces three and a half the hardener three and a half the epoxy and i just cleaned out my cup i've been using this one for a number of pours now for resin i have a s instructional video on how to clean your cup out so you can it's almost like brand new so you don't have to keep using buying cups all the time every pour or every other pour so that's a good tip on that so you can save a little money you also save money on going to art resin calculator when you're figuring up how much resin you need to use so you don't use too much or hmm, even too little so you'd have to mix more it will give you the exact amount that you need all you have to do is type in your canvas size and it will tell you the total amount of resin that you need to use for that size canvas and then of course your resin comes in a two-part kit it came with a bottle of hardener and a bottle of epoxy so you use for example this one is seven ounces so i use three and a half the epoxy and three and a half the resin mix that together for a few minutes and you've got your resin ready to go and you have just enough to just enough to do your canvas so that's another money saving tip you're welcome if you all would like to send me all the money you save by the tips i provide feel free to just kidding but all right so I just wear a rubber glove and run, as you can see, run it around with my hands, cover it, cover it all up. And then I like to have the sides resin. So that's why I run my hands around the sides. Looks like I missed a spot right there. So. And then we torch, 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 torch. When you stir, when you stir up this resin to mix it all together, you will create air pockets from the mixing. The faster you mix, the more you're gonna create. So they say to use a torch or a heat gun. You don't have to use a, a you know a torch if you feel uncomfortable with that. Some people use a heat gun. I just use a torch. Probably because I just like playing with fire. I don't know. But it works for me. And I have not caught my house on fire yet. I have caught some resin on fire, but not really on fire, it just basically smokes. You hold it in one spot too long, which I have done. And with resin, you usually have a good 15 minutes or so to work with it. I find now that I don't really need that. Now when I do coasters, and I do a lot of coasters at a time sometimes, you kind of start using up that time, especially if you have 12 or 16, because I do them by fours, 12 or 16 coasters, and you're resining them all at once, trying to get them each getting uh, the four by fours that I'd use, use an ounce of resin. So you're putting an ounce of resin on each one and then you're so you do that that takes a little, a little bit of time so your minutes are ticking so then you got to spread it on each one of them which takes some time 
And then you got to torch each one with the bubbles out of it, which takes some time. So there you get pretty close to the 15 to 20 minutes they say you have to work with it before it really starts to set setting up a little bit. And so you kind of have to work fast when you're doing a lot of coasters. Which here soon I will be doing a lot of coasters. One, I don't have any. And two, I got an order for a, a lady wants me to do seven sets of coasters for her. I think she's going to give them away for presents. And so I got to get started on those soon. All right, so we have... We have all the air bubbles out. I got a nice light with some glare on it where you can see them popping when you're torching it. I don't see any more. So we're going to set this right on the end there like that. Move it on over just a little bit. Yeah, right there. Okay. So there we have it. If you like this video hit the like button leave a comment let me know what you think of these colors if it worked for you or not and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and as always thanks for watching